Okay, Ian Lee, thanks for all of that background. Well, new information overnight about the shooter in Denmark and his possible ties to Islamic terrorism. He apparently swore his allegiance to ISIS in a Facebook post before the attacks on free speech event and the synagogue. Denmark is on edge again this morning after a suspicious package was found near the scene of one attack. CNN's senior international correspondent Nick Robertson is live in Copenhagen with more. Nick. Alison, the uh, police brought in a bombed army bomb disposal team. They looked at that package, took it away, decided that it, it wasn't dangerous. They've reopened this area again, but it highlights the security concerns in this city uh, because of the possibility for other associates of this gunman. Uh, more details coming to light about him in the hours before the attack on his Facebook page, pledging allegiance to uh, the ISIS leader al-Baghdadi. Uh, also, we're learning as well that uh, he may well have been radicalized in jail, um, according to the uh, Danish ambassador to the United States, and he was only released from jail just two weeks prior to this attack. And in the last couple of hours, we've heard from the Danish intelligence authorities who say, yes, while we were aware that of uh, his sort of changed circumstances, changed outlook in prison, they didn't believe, they say they didn't believe that he was on the verge of coming out of jail and uh, committing an attack like this. They Essentially, they say they didn't see this coming. Chris? Well, Nick, as you know, uh, it's getting so hard to see it coming because it could be coming from anywhere, and that's why it's such a difficult situation to deal with. But thank you very much for the latest from the ground.